guys in today's video let's look at the Samsung Uflex Bluetooth headset and I'll tell you if it's worth buying. Now this headset is priced at around 3200 Indian rupees and you can check the latest updated pricing in the description section of this video. Now we will keep this review very simple easy to understand so that it will help you make your purchase decision. Now quickly let's look at what's inside the box. The box packaging itself feels quite nice as you open the box you'll find the earphones neatly tucked with box that comes with three different sized earbud tips small medium as well as large a quick start guide you also get a micro usb cable now remember this is a bluetooth 4.2 version uh, flex earphones not the bluetooth 5.0 not the latest one but yet this is selling pretty good and for a good reason as well and it is also not selling quite well for a good reason as well so you'll know as you watch the review uh, so make sure you watch the review till the end now the first impressions of holding this earphones makes you feel very confident that it won't fall or hung up on one side so that's uh, how you feel while you wear it around your neck the build quality is really good for the price and it flexes without feeling cheap at all which is really really awesome now it has a rubbery finish and is super comfortable to wear so that's really important especially if you wear it using uh, you know while jogging or doing any kind of sports activity it's really important that it doesn't fall or it doesn't hung up or doesn't weigh on one side and that's how this one is the headset has four buttons in total and a switch to turn on and off as well as just hold the switch upward to pair now it flashes red green as well as blue while it's uh, searching for bluetooth connectivity which is really nice so there is notification indicator with light as well i like the fact that it has a switch to manually turn it off so again that's nice there is volume up and down button on the right side there is a play pause button as well again play pause is on one button not two buttons so bixby active key button is also placed on the left these buttons are super useful but i kind of feel that they were distinguished nicely like with a texture feel you know to get that extra premium feel like if the buttons were texturized it would have been very convenient and easy to find and that's uh, not the case here the earphones has a fastening magnet so you can easily attach them without having to feel like they are flying or even falling apart again the magnetic touch here feels premium the angle of the in-ear phones are built really well for any sized ears so wearing feels light on ears as well as confident now i'm happy to say that all the things you would expect from a earphone is present here with nice touch and of good quality so the most important thing for any earphone user is to know how's the sound quality right <laughs> so brace yourself it's a mixed bag so this is where the problem is spending 3200 rupees and it doesn't inspire you or makes you feel that wow listening experience with these earphones so why is that so well first of all the sound output isn't loud as you would expect it just always felt that the sound is a bit low even at maximum volume and i kind of felt that the volume is really really low and i always tried to actually turn up the volume but then again i saw the notification that it's already at maximum level so that's how you feel it doesn't give you that extra boom factor at all so it just feels like any other headset nothing special here come on this is samsung uflex headphones and you expect at least kind of unique sound quality here right the sound quality is clear has bass the mids and highs are very well tuned the lows are pretty good but again the sound stage isn't special no matter how you tune it using equalizer from the application this is something i felt disappointing from samsung maybe i expected a bit high with fidelity loud volume with good sound stage and nothing that impressed me come on like if you are buying a beats any headphones they have some kind of unique experience listening experience that's what you would expect from beats if you have bought sennheiser the sound quality is really premium uh, again the sound stage is there with the sennheiser headphones but that's not the case you feel wearing these samsung earphones so there is nothing special that you can expect out of it however you'll still be happy owning one of these it's because of excellent call quality both at receiving as well as the other end loud clear and crisp excellent noise isolation at times little too much noise compression was present but still nothing much to complain over here even if you have kept your mobile far away in open surrounding space the signals worked great no hiccups at all never ever i felt that it was finding for bluetooth signal so this is where you will be really happy owning one of these 
On paper, the headphones has two-way speakers consisting of 11mm woofers and 8mm tweeters. The sound quality is really good but like I said, nothing special owning these headset as compared to others in the market. Had Samsung tuned it slightly to give that one or the other factor to off the users, this would have been a perfect pair and a pie. There is an app called Samsung Level which will automatically connect once you switch on the headset. The app is designed well and easy to use. It allows you to customize active key button to basically open any favorite app or do a task using Bixby. Now the app lets you select individual applications that you don't want to hear notifications from unnecessarily. So the apps won't disturb you while listening to music which is a neat feature. The equalizer isn't app specific. It's the equalizer setting of your phone. The features are great here as you can always customize sound quality to your liking. There is also a volume monitor and it reminds you if you are listening at higher volumes for a longer period which is again neat from Samsung. The battery backup is really good with playback time of around 9 hours and talk time of uh, similar around 9 hours I will say. I really don't have any complaint about battery backup or the build quality. Uh, however, charging times is a bit slow but that's how it is for headsets right. So you can charge at night and that's what most of us do anyways. Okay so now that we have gone through pretty much everything here. So here's my verdict. Should you buy this one? Well there are better options in the market with unique sound quality that you know. One may be too bass heavy, the other may be too loud and so on. However, if you are looking for a no-nonsense good listening experience without any boom factor and have decent call quality then you cannot go wrong picking this Samsung Uflex headphones. So guys what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section down below. What is the headphone that you are currently using also let me know in the comment section down below. Which headphone do you want me to review again. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked, share it with your friends and don't forget to click on that subscribe button for more videos. Alright guys see you all in another one. Till then and take care everyone. Bye-bye.